Hello and welcome to Monitor Phishing Attack. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn about what is phishing attack and then how we can analyze phishing attack inside Wireshark that I'm going to cover here in this video. So basically, what I've done here, basically, I already have a website. I have created a phishing website of Gmail, right? And for example, I have sent this link to a user and user clicked on that link and trying to insert username and password. So how we can gather information inside Wireshark? Let me give you information. So I'm inside my Windows machine. Now let me open the browser. So now you can see the Gmail page, but it is not the actual Gmail page. You can see in the link that this is a fake website or you can say phishing website, right? And using this phishing website, attacker can gather information about username and the password of gmail of the particular target right so attacker simply creates this kind of link and then he can send it to the user and user will insert the email and the password and it will be grabbed by the attacker so this is a simple example of phishing i have created a phishing page and it looks like this so if you are not looking at the url so you can see that this actually looks like the real page or actual page of Google or Gmail right now let's grab this packet inside Wireshark let me open Wireshark here here it is and let's start capturing again so click here continue without scanning all right now let me open the browser let me type any email and password demo email and password so let me type here demo at the rate gmail.com and password is one two three four five six all right now click sign in the redirecting to any other website that's fine let me go back to the wireshark i think wireshark has already captured those packets so let me stop the capturing process here it is now you can see here that we already have around 1050 packets right and how we can find that packet which contains information about phishing data right so we know that basically phishing websites use http right because they are not secure so they don't use http as they generally use http so what you need to do you need to find out the packets which are using http so in the filter you can simply type here http and hit enter now you can see here that these all packets are using HTTP. Got it? So this is the time, source, the source, destination, protocol, length, and info. This is available here. Now you can see here, first of all, in source, that this is my IP address, which is 192.168.0.8, and this is the information about that packet. All right. And this is the destination destination is obviously the phishing website so this is the get request all right now in the info part if you can see the post request this is the post request you can double click here so you can check information about the values inside it so you can see inside hypertext transfer protocol because it is using http so this is the information this is the host right now if you can visit the last one html from url encoded then here you can get information about the email and the password so you can see here the email demo at gmail.com and the password one two three four five six so when user has entered the credentials inside that fake page the wireshark will easily grab that information inside it and can provide you that right so that's how you can gather information about the websites you can simply type http you will get all the http websites then you can visit the post requests right and then you can gather information about the credentials of user so that's how you can detect that it is a phishing attack in the next video we are going to learn that how to monitor web vulnerabilities